In this video, we'll be looking at theorem 1.3.1. We'll be deriving the formulas. So we're going to assume we have A and B that fit these three conditions. And I'm going to show that A must then be equal to this and B must then be equal to this. So we're really proving uniqueness and getting the formulas. All right, so let's do that down here. Um, let's see what we need, what we have. So assume that, first of all, A is parallel to D. Assume that B is perpendicular to D. And the third condition that we needed is that V is A plus B. All right, so let's assume we have these three facts and let's try to come up with the formula for A and B. All right, so from, from this first piece of information that we have about A, we know that A is parallel, so is equal to KD for some uh, real number k in R. Well, now that we have a start of a formula for A, notice that all we need is to figure out what k is. That's what we have to find. Now that we have this formula for A, we have one for B as well. So if I solve for B in 3, I'll get that B is equal to V minus A. And so that means V minus KD. All right. So now we're left with two that we haven't um, used. And so let's use two at this point. So we want that B is perpendicular to D. And what we like is we have this extremely useful tool to prove that things are perpendicular or to use that things are perpendicular. We have the dot product. So here that means that B dot D is zero. All right, so I want to use that with the formula we have for B and try to isolate K. So zero is B dot D. B is V minus K D. I'm going to multiply this in. I'm going to get V dot D minus K uh, D dot D. All right, so we have this equality here where zero is equal to this big expression. So let me send K D D to the other side. So I get that K D dot D equals V dot D. And so I can solve for k because d is not the zero vector. So I can divide by this. And so k is equal to v dot d over d dot d. You could leave it like this. Um, I chose to write length of d squared. They're the same. OK, so the only value of k that would work is this one. And so we need to take a to be k, the k that we just found, times d, and then b, b we said, where was it? b is v minus kd, so that's v minus k, And that's it. We have the formula for A. We have the formula for B.